So, are your thumbs green? No, not at all. <laughs> well, it's a growing trend. Many people started gardening during the pandemic. In Coffee With, a local expert explains how now is the right time to take care of your lawn. Oreo Park at Camden Yards is one of the most beautiful ballparks, and Oreo's head groundskeeper, Nicole Sherry, is a big part of that. What have you been dealing with this season in terms of weather with this extreme heat or the rain? Yeah, it's been a tough summer for everybody trying to grow grass, especially in the mid Atlantic region um, with the high heat, high humidity, and like torrential downpours uh, it's just it's been a challenge for our staff to maintain that field but we're doing it somehow today you're here to share with us your expertise your expert advice so everybody can take care of their lawns at home so first let's talk about seeding or reseeding like yep. when to do it what's the right time well, now should be the right time to get out there and start really addressing the issues that the yards have suffered throughout this um, <laughs> hottest summer I think in 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 the last few years but it's um it's definitely something that you should get out there and oversee now that the weather has cooled off a little bit the night temperatures that's the biggest thing are cooler than they had been in the past month so if you could reseed right now that would be a good time to do it um, a little bit of aeration poking some holes into your yard to get some oxygen moving in that root zone and um, really just addressing any issues that occurred during the summer heat. And then what about watering and overwatering? What do we need to be careful about? Right. Well, it's been hot and humid, so there, you know, people think that, okay, it's hot, I should water my yard, but it's been so humid in the atmosphere that, you know, you don't really need to overwater. And overwatering can lead to a lot of disease, a lot of brown spots out there that people might be seeing. So just take a step back from watering right now let the uh, root zone dry out from all the torrential rains that we've just experienced and um, just slow and steady into the fall. There are different types of grasses. Yes, a lot of different types of grasses in Maryland and the general surrounding area can grow a lot of them, but it's really important that you find out what grass is best for your location. I always recommend either a rye grass, fescue, um, mix to get out there and put it in your lawn. It's, it's better for this general area. Kentucky bluegrass, which we have at Camden Yours, is beautiful. However, it is very hard to grow and keep alive through the hot weather that we have here in Maryland. And I'm sure you noticed that during the pandemic, because everybody was at home, everybody was gardening. Everybody yeah. was doing home improvements. Right, right. And I think the best thing, you know, focus on the grass, but also start implementing native plants, you know, bring them, you know, um, bee friendly plants back to you know, your yard and, and encourage that kind of growth, especially this fall. It's going to be a nice fall to get out there and really hone in on your garden, your lawn, and make it beautiful for you. Nicole, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us today. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this with more news, traffic, and weather.